Hello, everybody who's not currently in here. Uh, just getting this all set up, getting it shared so people can uh, watch this video. Here we go. Okay. Oh no! Where'd my post go? Okay, okay. Should be a couple more seconds here, guys. You know, a couple minutes late starting. Uh, just gotta make sure everything is set up and ready to go. Okay. You guys ready? Man, how long do you do that? Well, fix that. I'll try to fix the angle on this a bit better. Okay. Maybe? No? Still too low? Maybe I can pull it more. Ooh, come down. Backwards. No, that's not working. <laughs> Let's roll. I'm trying to get this going, man. Just want to make sure we have a good angle so that way you can see the pops. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Okay, fine. Good enough. We don't need to see me. Uh, so, here we go. Let's start with the first one. Got this one actually at Hampton uh, at the last Tidewater Comic Con, I believe is what it was. Um, Shinron gold. Oof, that light's kidding this. So this one was pretty awesome because I had just started my collection uh, when I got that one. We got some Goku Black here. I'm gonna try to angle this a bit, a bit differently. Let's get it back further. Let's see if this works better. Okay, much better. Okay, so we got Goku Black. Hope you guys have some, are, you got Dragon Ball Z fans in here, or Super, I have all of them. Love this one, Gohan. This is a pretty memorable moment from the anime. Raditz got destroyed. Okay, got a regular Wisp. Wisp. Now, the thing about my collection is I don't have it in Stashpedia, I don't have it in Pop Price Guy. I have no clue on the value. Some things are worth a good amount of here, some things worth a little less, but ultimately I never bought the, these ones with the intentions of reselling them, and I never go into buying a pop that I'm personally collecting with the idea that I wonder what it will be worth in the future, because there's no point in collecting that way. Because you win some, you lose some, just get what you like. Krillin. One for anime, but to each their own. Yeah, Jeff. Um, I have a lot of anime. I watch a lot of anime have since I was a little kid, so. Um, but I have a lot more coming too, so. That are not just anime. I just got this one recently. I was pretty excited. I was one of the wave wave one people who got one. So what happens when you pre-order right away. It's literally what I did as soon as I heard it was coming out. I went into the store and pre-ordered that day. Um, and I always try to share those posts when they're available to be pre-ordered, so that way you guys can get ahead of the curve and be some of the beginning. Okay, Goku, Super Saiyan God. I have quite, quite the collection. <laughs> you guys are gonna see a lot of Dragon Ball. I'm getting that out of the way right at the beginning because it's probably one that I have just, just too many. A Galactic Toys, Goku, and Flying Nimbus. Hey Fatima, can I have you do me a favor? Can I have you shut that light off maybe? Because it's creating this huge glare. 
Hopefully it doesn't make it too dark. Okay, Tian and Shao Tzu. Uh, not too bad, it's still pretty good. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Ugh. Super Saiyan Goku, Glows in the Dark, Entertainment Earth exclusive. What kind of pops are you guys? Do you guys collect? I know Jeff, you personally collect. Uh, Pop, Funko Pop Act. I know you collect wrestling. Oh man, I just added this today. This is probably the the grail of my my collection. Even though I probably have some more more than this. Personally, to have one that's signed by Chris Sabat, the voice of Vegeta, in the dub version, it's, it's pretty awesome. Okay. Trunks. Now, I'm a new unbox collector. My daughter, she's an out of box collector. She has a lot of Disney ones. Um, but I'm not going to drag those out to show off. Those are her collection. Uh, Goku and Flying Nimbus. It's the, the common that you can get around anywhere. I don't know if my chat's working, but there we go. W Adam, you like DBZ, WW, and Marvel Pops. Well, I have a lot of DBZ, and I have a lot of Marvel, so you're, <laughs> you're in for a treat. Okay, here we go. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Man, they made the name so long on these boxes. Like, I get technically that's probably the right way to say it, but like, man. <laughs> Redundant. <laughs> Long names. Still love it though. You gotta love it. Okay, here's a good one. Oh, I got flocked beers from Funimation. Man, this this one gave me a headache. I'll tell you, I remember trying to get this one, and for probably two hours I was on that website before the order finally completed because it kept crashing nonstop. Funimation does not know how to handle bots. That's that's for sure. Deadpool at icon, etc. I have a lot of Deadpool. You'll definitely see a lot of those Funko Pop Addict. Uh, WWE. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I don't collect that myself, so I don't have any of that. Add icons. I think I have a couple that are in here. Some that I haven't even opened yet. Vegeta Metallic. Pretty exciting as well to add to my collection. I wish this is the one that was signed like that one a little bit more than the, the other one, but here we go. Vegeta, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Blue Chrome, Toy Tokyo Limited Edition. Pretty great one. And like I said, these are, I've never went into buying my pop toys with the idea of, when I'm buying it for my personal collection at least, with the idea of, I wonder what this will be worth in the future. I always buy it just because I personally like it. And some of them have turned out good, some of them not. But it's okay because, like I said, I'm not collecting it for value. I'm collecting it because I like it. Metallic Beerus 120 2016 Comic-Con exclusive. It's a cool one. And like, for some of you who probably didn't hear me say this before, uh, I don't even have a Stashpedia or even a Pop Price Guide for my personal collection. Because, you know, I've never never been curious of the value of it because I didn't buy it because of that. Here we go. Super Saiyan Trunks. New York Comic Con 2016. <laughs> I do. I can get almost any pop. That's 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 without a doubt. If you, there's a pop that somebody needs, I can find it for you. And if you go on over to my website, popcentric.co, there's an option under services uh, where I can help you locate a pop. Uh, now, I will say that service is generally intended for people who are looking for pops that are 30 days or older. It's not, hey man, can you go pick me up five of the Michael Jordans that are releasing tomorrow. It's, it's meant for those people looking for vintage pops that may be out of the price range uh, than they, they normally could get or 
or just is hard to find for a reasonable rate. So anyway, we'll move on to this. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, tongue twister there. Uh, exclusive from Hot Topic. Uh, Piccolo, common. Doesn't matter. Still love it. I feel bad for Piccolo, though, because, you know, they made him the the nanny. I feel like he 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 has not got the justice he deserves. He he is way cooler than being uh, a, a manny. But, you know, it is what it is. So, we got Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito. You notice how in this one they put SSGSS -S -S Vegito. Because that was just so much, so much better <laughs> than what they did before. Hot Topic exclusive here. I actually gave one of these away too um, when this came out. Uh, Vegeta, 10, unsigned. Didn't realize I had this unsigned by so many of them. Uh, but I guess I do I have an unsigned version as well. That's awesome. Oh man, this one's cool. Really like this. Uh, Badman Vegeta, Hot Topic exclusive. Yes, yes, exactly. You know, hey Adam, have you seen the, the new movie? I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody who's um, on the cast, but if you've seen the new movie, you got to say, hit me up in a, a direct message on how do you feel about <laughs> Beerus? Uh, that ending was um, interesting. Anyway, let's get on to... Look at that... Galactic Toys exclusive. Pretty awesome. Okay, just got this one recently. Goku. Never really show off my personal collection or, or anything. Because, um, like I said, I just kind of grab things when I like them. I usually have, like, coupons or hot cash or something like that, so. Son Goku. GameStop exclusive. I know it doesn't say that. It says the Funko Insider Club, but that's GameStop. Gabe stuff wants to seem cool. I think maybe they designed a sticker to look a little different. It's cool though. I like it. Goku Ultra Instinct. Another really cool pop. You know, I kind of hope they, they come out with a second rendition of this because uh, I feel like uh, they can do some cool stuff with this. I did. I did. I found the Funko punk, Pop Addict, a Triple H Chase. Uh, and he, he was happy. I'm glad I'm glad you uh, liked it. The run pop that I'm looking for right now is a good deal on a stone keeper. So if anyone ever sees a stone keeper for a really good deal, um, let me know. Goku Black. Look at that. <laughs> Goku on Flying Nimbus. I guess I have a million of these. See, I have this really great habit, and I'm sure all of you guys do too, which is probably why you use Stashpedia or Pop Price Guide on your personal collection, which is, oh, do I have that? I'm accidentally buying a, another copy. I've d I do that with movies too. Uh, I'll end up buying like, oh man, I love this movie. Do I have it? And then I'll buy it, and I'll end up having two of the same movie. Future Trunks, 313. Hollywood Hogan Pop. So... What I would say, uh, Adam, is if you can, run, jump over to popcentric.co when you get a chance and type in what you're looking for and just fill out that form. And what, what I'll do is I'll take a look and I can get back to you really quickly on that. Um, okay, Super Saiyan Vegeta, AAA exclusive. Oh, man, it's so cool. Look at that. Wolf Pack Steam. Same thing, man. If you jump on over there, uh, the Funko Pop Addict, I will be glad to take a look and try to find it for you guys in a reasonable rate. Vegeta Metallic. <laughs> Don't even deem exclusive. Look at that. I guess I have two of those too. Didn't even realize it. Okay, next one. Oh man, this one is cool. You guys are going to be jealous. So hey, Adam, t wait till you see this one. You're going to like this if you haven't seen it already. Here we go. Oh man. Look at that. Golden Freezer Red Eyes. 2015 San Diego exclusive. 
Oh man, that's so good. Oh man, I'm trying to get through all these anime because the next is Marvel and if you saw any of my pictures, I'm sure most of you saw the picture I uploaded. There's, there's just so many here. Oh man, okay. Like a wall going on the side here blocking the camera, it looks like. I'm gonna have to do something about this. Let me shift some of this to the floor to get it out of the way and out from in front of the camera. So much more. My dream pop, like my Grail of Grail, is the one pop that I would absolutely just would love in my collection. Which, you know, at this point in time, I never foresee that happening. Is a signed Stan Lee. But post death, people want way too much. I was actually collecting them, and I had I have like three or four of them. And then, you know, rest in peace, he, he passed away. And, you know, you got a lot of these, these people out here charging a very large amount, you know, for them now, which, you know, in my opinion, is not a reasonable price, regardless of the scenario. But, you know, it is what it is. They'll do what they'll do. And all I can do is just wait and be patient. For me, you know, at this point, I don't care any Stanley that's signed, I would be happy. Um, I'm not particular because I'm not sold on, I, I, you know, I like him as a, not as a character, but as a person. So, you know, it doesn't matter which one. Uh, it could be the most, it could be a dollar Stanley pop that's signed by him and I would be happy. Just having the autograph alone. It's kind of like having the signed Vegeta here. It's the autograph. It's exciting to me. Okay. Back to business. Goku. Just plain old Goku number nine. Dragon Con Limited Convention Exclusive. Majin Chocolate Majin Boo. <laughs> Majin Poo. You know, I really wasn't a big fan of this one. Uh, I got it. I like it. But, like, I don't know. The chocolate just... No, no. I don't feel it. I'm probably completely wrong on the side of the fence on this one, but I don't. Okay, here we go. Bulma, of course. Zamasu, Zamasu, however you say his name. Okay, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I swear I had a Barali. Guess I don't. Okay. I think we're winding down. I don't see any more Dragon Ball after this. Oh, nope, I do. I have two more. Master Roshi. Oh, which pop do I have signed from DBZ? It's a Vegeta. I have a signed Vegeta. By uh, Chris Stabbitt. Uh, my All Might, My Hero Academy. Kind of did a change there. We'll go back. Super Saiyan Gohan. Galactic Toys exclusive. Okay. Oh, I have another one hidden. Me. Got here, got another one of these. Like I said, I see something I like it, I buy it. Got the next grade eight. Move these out of the way. Okay, another one of my favorite grails. What's really great is Johnny and Bosch is going to be coming to the local con here coming up, and I'm going to have him sign it. He voices Ichigo in the dub version, so I'm pretty excited. So my already cool enough pop is going to get even cooler. Oh man, dude, I'm sorry. What happened there? Tell me about it. I want to hear this. Okay, we're getting to the Marvel, it looks like. Captain America, only at Kohl's, 75th anniversary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bruce Banner, it's from Avengers Affinity War. Thank you gonna think, uh, my friend over at Barnes & Noble here, he uh, definitely helped me out. Uh, when it came in, he let me know it was there. I was so excited. 
Okay, we got Storm. Nice little exclusive here. We got a couple different ones of these too. Ulysses Claw. It's worth noting, I, I'm a little delayed in terms of seeing your guys' messages because I'm using two different devices. So if I'm not responding quickly, just keep that in mind. Uh, Taskmaster, Walgreens exclusive. Okay, need to do another layer of stacking. Pre-ordered at the same time I did Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, but they canceled my Goku because they were overbooked. Oof, that is rough, man. Oh, I, you know, I feel for you. I really do. I can definitely keep my eye out, that's for sure, because they, you know, they come up quite frequently. Maybe we'll, we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll see somebody list it for a very affordable rate, not some of the insane prices that people jump on. You know, I'm not... I definitely would say that I'm a reseller. I do sell pops, not my own personal. But I want to call myself, I want to label myself a flipper by any means. Um, I, d I definitely don't clear shelves. I try to keep it to the community so they can, you know, get the pops they're looking for. And most of my pops come from trade-ins, from people or something I order directly from Funko. Um, but yeah, it's rough. It's rough what they do with some of the, the prices there. Yeah, Twitter's really good. There's a lot of great people to follow, like Disfunko, Funko Finders, I mean, countless others. Uh, Instagram's also really good. Facebook is, eh. Um, believe it or not, Reddit and Periscope, also really good spots to, to learn about pops. They do all kinds of exclusive videos on Periscope, every day almost. So, Hot Topic Loki exclusive, Hot Topic exclusive Loki. Hmm. This one's pretty sweet. I like it. Love anything MCU. If it's Marvel or MCU, I'm sold. Drax. Guardians of the Galaxy. Man, I'm running out of room inside. Me too, now. What am I going to do here? Scoot over a little bit, I guess. Ooh, we got a Renji GameStop exclusive. Am I scared? No, I am Man, we're not, <laughs> we're not, oh, we just did uh, about 10% of my pops. So I wasn't careful. I said it was going to be a long video. This is going to be exciting, you guys. I hope you guys are in for a ride. Exclusive Collector Corp Spider-Man. Love Marvel Collector Corp. You know what's funny is I got a, a notification from Amazon uh, with the pictures of what's in the box. Total spoiler. I saw the picture, I was like, what is that? I didn't order that. And then I clicked on the details and told me what it was. And I was like, you son of a butt. Oh, man. Anyways, X-Men uh, Cable. A lot of these I've gotten on sale. Like, this one I only paid, like, I think it was, like, it says $4.99. But I, I think I got half off of that, too, so. Yeah, I, I try not to read the box spoilers because, you know, that's kind of the excitement about opening the collector court boxes. Uh, Groot Christmas. I think this is last year's. I don't think this is this year's. Nope, this is this year's. I have last year's as well. I'll grab that one next. There we go. Moving on to the next one. Yes, the cable is great. I think I got it at... Where did I get it? I don't remember, but I remember getting it on sale and I was happy. So, Hot Topic exclusive Christmas group. Now, speaking of group, I would love the original first oversized pop they came out with with the life-size group. Man, that would be a cool pop to have. Okay, Spider-Man from the Spider-Man game verse. I also got this one on sale. Couldn't complain. I think I paid like $3.50, $4 for it. I'm very frugal, so it may seem like I have a lot of pops, but this has been over time. And so most of the time I only buy them when I can get them at a discount. Look at that, Scarlet Spider. Walgreens exclusive. See, this one. Really love this one. Paid like $11 for it. Not terrible. 
Venom pool. So cool. Not technically a part of those Venomized pop collection, but it should be. It's not cool. I, I say it is. I think it is. Ooh. Mm. See, I actually missed this box. I didn't get this Collector Corpse box. So I was really excited when another friend in the community uh, was able to help me out with this. This literally made my day. I was, I was pumped. Pumped is an understatement, actually, uh, when I got this pop. So here we go. Let's look at Rhino. Uh, this glare. Mm, awful. Can you change uh, angle that a little bit? I'm going to hold this pop up, guys, for a second. Only to get an idea where the glare is. So that way I can re angle this so it's better. It takes a second to load, so you got to give me a second. Can't do this so quickly. Oh, okay. I think she's figured it out. Clear away. Is it gonna go away? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. That looks better. Uh, yeah, definitely. I agree, but the pop itself is pretty cool. Hello. <laughs> I throw something at you. Not at all. Wife over there messing around in the background. Hella. Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, Black Panther. Wakanda forever. You know what's really great is Black Panther is coming back out again. Uh, for free at AMC. And there is a lot of places AMC's participating. There's one in Virginia Beach, there's one in Hampton, there's one in Richmond. Not in Williamsburg. Uh, but all within like a 15, 20 minute drive though, so. Rocket with Groot. Another Collector Corp exclusive. Well, thanks for coming, man. And uh, definitely, let me know it if you have any questions. Man, you know what's really great? Well, not great about this pop. It's got all messed up in the plastic. It's like both stuck. And, I, and you know, I probably could open it and fix it, but it is what it is. Ants, Matt, and the Wasp. Ugh. Thanos. Fortunately, all of them were box cut. Every single one. But, like I said, since I wasn't buying it for value, I still got it. Another one. Okay. Proxima Midnight. I'm gonna try to speed this up a bit. I'll stop a little longer on the exclusives. Walgreens exclusive, Punisher, Thunderbolts, 106. Here we go. Collector Corp Civil War box. Pretty excited about that one. I think Hot Topic has honestly better exclusives for sure. GameStop, it's a hit or miss. Sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're not. Like, that like Gohan coming out, I pre-ordered it, so I can't really complain. I don't think it's the coolest, but it's still really cool, so I'm getting it. Anyways, we got Punisher uh, Nemesis here. 118. But, no hate. I love GameStop. I go there a lot. Stan Lee, Guardians of the Galaxy, Walmart exclusive. I remember I got this pop for, I want to say, $8 and some change plus shipping. So I think it was like $12, $13 or something after shipping. On eBay, 
And then it was not even a week later that, you know, rest in peace, Stan Lee, uh, he passed away. And this went from $15 to almost 100 And I just, I couldn't believe it. And it's come back down since then, but, but still. Oh, I love these. These um, PX uh, preview exclusives are pretty awesome. Rocket Raccoon. You know, the detailing in this one is, is something you gotta appreciate. The paint job is done very well. The detail is very well. I would love to see more pops with the detail you see in this one. And there's actually a Star Lord one as well. Try to angle this. Wrong angle. Let's go down. There we go. Look at the detail. Such great detail in this spot. Okay. Let's move on. Oh, man. I'm going to be here all night. Captain America. 67. Corvius Glaives. Corvus Glaive. Here we go. Next one. Gwynpole. Toys R Us exclusive. He said you were the most disappointed man in the world. And I'm here to tell you, I see Ryan in a close second, Mr. Hill. He's the man who writes terrible stories. They have yes. Yep. Yep. And that. And that's Such a cool, cool look. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. $4.50 at Walmart. Mm. Couldn't complain. Just picked it up. Wasn't a pop I was going to pay full retail for, but. Definitely pay full four fifty for it. So, got that one. Satama, so I actually have this whole collection somewhere around in here. So. One of my favorite pops. I still want them to make more of this one, and they won't do it. They haven't done it yet. Maybe one day, right? Malakon. First Muslim superhero done right. Hot Topic Dead Panda Pool. No, it's not the flock version. That would be sweet, but he is not. Uh, Spider Hawk. I don't remember when these were standing out. People were going ballistic. Now there's so many of them. There's just, I think there's still some at, the, at my uh, Walgreens here in Williamsburg. Okay, but we all remember these. You know, what made me mad about these ones is they were selling out so quickly and then being relisted by resellers on Walmart. And they were selling them for like 40 bucks a piece, 50 bucks a piece, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my goodness, people, the Walmart exclusive. They were definitely trying to take people for their money while they could. Um, I, you know, once again, another friend within the community helped me out here. Um, otherwise, you know, I, I wouldn't have paid any more than, you know, probably would have paid maybe 15, 20 piece for them, but there's no way I was going to pay, you know, $40 for one of these. I would have sooner not had it. Thank you. You know who you are. Mm. So many more to go. I'm not even close to being done. Wasp. Oh, look, some more anime. Come on. Okay, I hate to bother you one more time. Can you just make it, maybe put it lower? Maybe that'll help. Ketsu, uh, who's who that was? That Lord. Who likes One Punch Man? Anybody watch it? I thought it was fantastic. I'm super excited for the next season. Ugh. Just way lower. 
Oh, I see. You're trying to see something. Let's see. Maybe move it further away. It's actually pretty good. It's not bad. It is very good. Very good anime. If you've never seen it, you're literally missing out on life because it is worth every minute. Yondu. Still don't have the other one yet. You know, I'm waiting. I just... Not in the position where I'm going to swing $35, $40 for, for the... Uh, the other exclusives. Oh man, we're getting some newer stuff here. Okay, the locked goose the cat. What do you guys think? You guys like goose the cat? It's definitely worth watching for real. If you haven't seen it and you like anime, it's a great anime. You start bringing out a couple more at a time. You get a little quicker that way. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at these. Boom. Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider, Christmas Hulk, Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Lord, and Carnage from the Venomized line. You know, I'm missing the Black Panther one. That's the one I'm missing right now. And you know, I've seen it pop up here and there for like twenty-five, thirty dollars, but. It can go pretty quickly at that price because that's kind of the lower end of the value instead of the higher end. Most people tend to put them at the higher end. Okay, Moon Knight. You know, I really, really like this one. I love Moon Knight. If you guys haven't read Moon Knight, the comic, uh, he is an awesome character. And I know that Mar Disney and Marvel have basically dissolved the partnership with Netflix. I really felt like Moon Knight would have been a great Netflix character because really flesh out his his character and learn a lot about him. That's something that a two-hour movie I just don't think can can do. Um, so hopefully maybe they'll bring it to Hulu since they own a huge stake in them now. Um, and we can see a darker, really gritty, like, Moon Knight. That would be awesome. I know, isn't it? I wish it was the glow-in-the-dark one. Uh, but it is very awesome. Very, very, very awesome. Hulkbuster. Uh, GameStop exclusive. This one was awesome. It's heavy action too. It has a lot of weight. Told you, when it comes to MCU, you know, I'm very adamant about making sure I get them. Now, if I'm going too fast, or you guys see a pop you want me to bring back closer to the camera, let me know. This one has, you know, I've had for a long time. As you can tell by the box, color is a little off. But it's still, still good. Giant man. Oh, hoo -wee. For you, those of you, if you're just joining us, don't forget to check out popcentric.co. I'm also giving a, doing a giveaway once I reach 100 subscribers. Um, and I have all kinds of social media. So if you like pop toys, follow me. Oh. <sighs> so fat and they're so far away. Okay, Ed and Aim. Aim, however you want to say it. Still a great pop. I do love Cowboy Bebop. Holiday Hulk. Areas being filled up. Nega Sonic Teenage Warhead. I got this one on sale as well, so I was pretty happy. You got to pay like four bucks for this. That is four dollar pop. Ooh, you know I got this one off my hot cash, and I'm gonna say I was very excited because I really wanted it. And so I got it with hot cash. I saved some money. It was very exciting. Hot topic exclusive thing was on his throne. That. Maybe get it from the side, you can see it better. So cool. Uh, okay, let me pull some more forward here. Like I said, I have so many. Oh no! They're falling! They're falling! No! 
No, I don't like it when they make the box black because the edges. I'm sure some of you guys probably still have this. Never taken this out of the box. Haven't touched it really since the day I got it besides just looking at it from a distance. But look at this, man. The edges on these, when you, they make them black, they turn white so bad because the cardboard just wears away, goes away. Um, this is a light up Iron Man. I'm sure you guys remember this. I was very excited when I finally got it. I thought I was not going to get it. But managed to see one come in and pumped. Actually, I think I got mine uh, from another collector nearby. I did actually, because there wasn't any in my store. I didn't know if I was going to get it. So this actually came also from the community. A lot of help from them. Some more did come to my store, which was nice, and I was able to share it. And we were able to help out some people too who were looking for it that missed the boat when it first went around. Spider Man Nor. Exclusive Walgreens. I got him with and without the hat. Maybe he'll show up somewhere around here. Who knows? The big pile. Venomized Iron Man. Oh man, people are tagging me and stuff. Don't need that right now. Did you end up getting one, Adam? There's still, I think there was still one at my, my Walgreens the other day when I looked. Um, we got Quicksilver, X-Men, classic. Barnes & Noble, Wizard Deadpool. Nice. Ooh, too cool not to get, even if it was a common. I collect them all. Like I said, I never, I never go into the, the idea. Of what is the value before I buy? Because man, I'm still missing some. I'm still missing some Iron Man ones. I wish I had. Uh, basically, a lot of MCU ones. So if you ever see MCU ones, at a good deal. I'm all about it. I'm all about the MCU. That is, that is where I'm at. This is actually, I'm going to show you, this is a very special pop. This is the very first pop I ever got. And when I first got it, I was like, this is lame. Who wants these dumb things? <laughs> I threw it in the back of my closet. But then I got another one, and another one, and another one. And then I started, they started to grow on me. So, really great pop. Captain America. Common. Everybody seen this one? Oh, no. oh, let's do some more in the row again. Some of these I find at Goodwill. This one I got at Goodwill for $5.25. Not bad for an exclusive glow in the dark, right? Walgreens. Walgreens Deadpool. Absolutely. It really is. There you go. Scarlet Witch got on sale for four fifty. Psylocke, four ninety nine. I'll buy pretty much any Marvel pop if the price is right. Oh man, this one got pretty beat up. It's sad. Once again, ah, oh, it is what it is. Venom, OG Walgreens exclusive. It's a cool pop. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Ant-Man and the Wasp. So what? Are you guys hunting for any pops in particular right now? We got Spider-Man, Iron Spider. Ooh, it's not Spider-Man, Iron Spider. It's Iron Spider. Really excited for this one, MCU. Big MCU fan. I'm really scared now. Let me get out of it. Here we go. Getting lost in the sauce here. Battle Deku. Once again, community. You take care of the community, they take care of you. Another person within the community found this for me. Um, paid more than retail, but it, it was worth it. It's a good deal. Uh, and they were very fair. So, thank you if you're watching. I doubt you are, but thank you. You know who you are. Man, this one... I went in the eBay bid, 
pretty excited for that. 2017 Fall Convention exclusive Grandmaster. Jeff Goldblum is great. Man, I hope they they bring his character all theory. He needs more. We need more of uh, the Grandmaster. Vicious. Another Cowboy Bebop. Rick and Morty. Snowball. Blocked. I actually have an out of box of these, one of these too. She Hulk. Glows in the dark. Ooh, look at this. Aang, Chase, Glow. That is so cool. I'm going to show you guys something even more interesting. Uh, even though I, when I went the first time, there was no Chase. Still got it, because I wanted it. It wasn't the Chase. It was just Avatar situation. If you haven't watched it, another great show. Have to watch. Oh, you just got the chase? Isn't it awesome? It glows very well, especially if you use a UV light. You can make them glow really well. More anime? Karama? Most worst part is thinking about putting all these back away. I just got this on. Azula. Okay, let me see here. Right. Here we go. There we go, Azula! Okay. Let's do some more. Do some more. From the top and the bottom. Kakashi, Hot Topic exclusive, Rick and Morty's uh, Prison Break Rick. Another Hot Topic exclusive, Storm, Avengers Root. Look at that. Another collector corp. That. Slapstick. Young Gamora. Beetlejuice Go. Got lucky with this Beetlejuice. Uh, he was up. I was there. Uh, I do like Beetlejuice. Probably one of the odder, odd ones in my collection, along with the Rick and Morty. I like him. I uh, got him because I liked him. Um, am I in love with him? No. Um, but, you know, maybe they'll grow on me as I get, get more, as more come out. Oh my goodness. This, what are we looking at right now? I feel like we're at over an hour. Easily. Easily. No, we're not. Not even. Almost over an hour. Oh my goodness. Oh, my pops are falling. Okay, people, figure out what we're going to do here. Give me two seconds. Scoop these over a little bit. Okay. Falk, 10 inch. It is. Oh, okay. I guess I can start stacking more back over here. Movie moments. Falk smashing Loki. I actually got this the other day from GameStop. Black Power Ranger. Also, Johnny Young Bosch. Morphin exclusive GameStop. Uh, but this is also Johnny Young Bosch played a the Black Ranger. So I'll probably have him sign this too, as lo along with my Ichigo. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's grab some Venomized Hulk. Vision. Sabretooth. Another Rick and Morty. Hot Top exclusive, Rick with patrol gun. 
or portal gun. I can't read upside down, obviously. This is another one that people were thirsting after, spending tons of money, and now they're everywhere. They're even getting clearance out, so somebody paid $2 for one of these. Walgreens exclusive Spider-Man in the Spider-Mobile. Cool pop. Ooh, another Collector Corp exclusive Squirrel Girl. We got the Amazon exclusive. Removable hand and all. Ghost Rider. PX exclusive. Really good ones. These ones did a lot of detail. A lot of detail in the PX ones. Love it. Squirrel Girl. Koei. Okay. Mm. Green Goblin. 10 inch. Funko Friday Target exclusive. Oh, people are messaging me. Not sure what's going on. <laughs> oh, that's that's exciting. I'm I'm happy. The more subscribers, the better. I love to love to talk to the community. Love to help out the community. If you guys see some of my other videos, if you're new to my channel. A lot of them are, are videos about trying to find local stock and, you know, updating, you know, the local community on what's where. And, you know, we try to beat the beat the flippers. So, exclusive Marvel Collector Corp. Pretty excited for this. I wish the 10th anniversary was something Stan Lee related. Maybe like Stan Lee shaking Kevin Feige's hand or something. Like, that would have been awesome, but no. Still good, still good. I can't complain too much. I kept my kept my pre-order. I didn't cancel it, even though, you know, unfortunately. So spoilers, you know. What, what can I do about that? Let's move some more pops. Pops over here. Let's move some pops out of the way. Just give me one second, people. Running out of room. And I still. Quite a few more to go. Did I show this one already? Do not know. Please just bear with me for a few more minutes. Just trying to move a good amount forward so that way I'm not stuck here. Okay. Oh man, well, we got three watchers now. Uh, Captain Marvel, Iron Man. Hawkeye, Spider-Man, four pack. Doctor Strange, Collector Corp exclusive. <coughs> One more exclusive Venomized Ghost Rider. Got this one from Goodwill for five dollars. Uh, Rocket Raccoon, Guardians of the Galaxy. Got this from Walmart for four fifty. <laughs> Mordo. Here's what they're planning to do with this character. Maybe after Endgame, they'll uh, really change him around. Ooh, look at this glow in the dark Thor. Should probably put this one on Protector. Archangel. Ant Man. Captain Marvel, Walmart exclusive, glow in the dark. This one I just got lucky, it was on the website. I sat down for two days straight, refreshing until I got lucky. <laughs> this is literally the story behind that one. Uh, X-Men Storm. Deadpool, just plain old O2 Marvel Universe Deadpool. One of the very original Deadpools that had been launched. I'm trying to get your attention without them noticing. You think I can get your help assistant? <laughs> can I get your help, uh, wife, who isn't my assistant? Um, Ronan. What do you need? Just need to do me a big favor and just like push 
I need some of this this way real quick for me. I'm almost done. I'm, I'm down to the last pile, I think. Ooh, Venomize Loki from Target. Yeah! That was awesome. I got lucky I was there during that yeah. launch day. This one. And don't come past this, because this is where the camera sees. This line. Venomize Captain America. Oh, you are the best. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. You need more than that. Luke Cage. I think I got this one for like a dollar from Barnes & Noble when it was like 90% off sale or something. Haters. Carnage, a foyer. You know what's crazy is I've had ones in my personal collection like that I've, I've let go for, for retail because I could tell they meant more to the person uh, than they did to me. One of them was a uh, uh, anti-venom. Loki. Chrome. I got every single Chrome so far. I'm super excited because I only have two more to go and I have them on pre-order. Morty said some of my obscure pops. And this place is getting full. You know, you guys can't see the other side of this, but like there's literally pops like just below the, the view of the camera, like everywhere. Korg with Mike. Another Deadpool. 2016 Summer Convention exclusive. Now here's the sad part. Whoever opened this didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> Look what they did to this box. Look at this poor box. You see that? They cut that thing pretty bad. I'm trying to get up close so you can see it better. It's like cut. It's just straight cut. It's like, what are you guys doing? Okay. Guess that's what what happens though. You can't can't control it. Got this one for four fifty from Walmart. Crossbones. Can't complain. I'm literally almost done. You know, I thought this was gonna take me like two and a half hours, but don't worry. I still got some good ones hidden in here that you guys haven't seen yet. So those of you who are still watching, there are a couple in here that I personally love. So uh, Deadpool. Four fifty. Still see that places for full retail though, so I feel like I did pretty good. Uh, getting this one for four fifty. Oh man, love this. This one was one of the first ones that I had seen uh, that just was like jumped out at me. Really like this one. Iron Spider, Target exclusive. Mm. Another Stan Lee. Once again, this is another one of those like $15 pops and overnight went from 15 to 100 and I just couldn't fathom why people felt like that was okay. But to each their own, I'm not setting their price, they're not setting mine. It's a little dusty. Clutch Corp Deadpool. Spider-Man Christmas themed. I don't even celebrate Christmas, but I don't care. Love it. Oh, I got this one for like $3. That was pretty awesome. Hot Topic exclusive Hank Pym. Unmasked. Still looking to get some of the chases in the, out of the Ant-Man and the Wasp. Haven't got one yet. Glow in the Dark, GameStop exclusive. Ancient One. By the way, hello, Cat's Daughter, if you're still watching. Thank you for subscribing. Goose the Cat and Captain Marvel. We want to pick up this chase, I think, this week sometime. Pretty excited. Another person looking out. Thank you. Uh, you know who you are if you're watching. I'm not gonna name people's names really unless they want me to. Bullseye and Daredevil Marvel exclusive. I haven't finished season three of Daredevil, but wouldn't it be cool if he was in that suit fighting Bullseye? That would be awesome. It won't be true. I know that. 
Oh look, more of the Chromes. Black Panther. Gamora. Oh wow, this stuff is really getting in the way. Let me move this out of the way. Destroying the view here. Like I said, there's so many pops here you guys won't even believe. Actually wait, you just saw me. Gamora. Black Panther. Oh cool, thank you for subscribing Pook Spooky2005. Once I get to 100 subscribers, I'm giving away a King Ding Dong. So, stay tuned for that. Shuri. And Iron Man Chrome. Keep going here. I have all of the Chromes. I'm not kidding. Thor Groot. The Groot got a little beat up. Which is disappointing. Black Widow. Hulk. Captain America. And Rocket. All here. I got that. Doctor Strange and I am Spidey coming. Uh, I have them on pre-order at GameStop. You know, the thing I like about GameStop is it kind of enables my pop pop spending because they, you know, they do that whole five dollars down. You know, I pre-order those things like months in advance. You know, I throw in five, three to four dollars, five dollars, ten dollars here and there, and then you know by the time I'm uh, ready to pick it up, it's already paid off. Kind of like a layaway for pop toys. I'm terrible, Drax. So, any of the GameStop ones probably came from me doing that. Really. Collector Corp exclusive. Wolverine. On the motorcycle. That's cool. I actually like this. I was very excited when that came. Mm. What's in this one? See, I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. Hot Topic exclusive Captain Marvel. Oh, you're good. Uh, Daw and you, we're actually about to finish up here, but... It'll post live soon. I had so many pops. It's been a little over about an hour now, and I think I'm just now finishing up, and we are doing them nonstop, nonstop. So this one, I, you know, the person who sold this to me, I know you're not watching, but I just want you to know I appreciate the fact that he sold me this, you know, I think it was like a couple days after his Stanley had passed. I was talking to him when it happened, and he still, he sold it to me, at a very good deal, very reasonable price, uh, you know, because he knew I was a collector, he knew I wasn't reselling it, so it made me very, very happy uh, to get this in. Um, I would love to be able to complete this collection, but we know how expensive this collection is. And then my final two that I got to show you guys, before we wrap it up, is Verse, both of them. So. What was the favorite thing you guys saw in this collection? What are you looking for? And uh, give me some comments. Tell me uh, what's going on. Uh, what did you like the most? Is there anything I'm missing? Is there anything you would recommend? Uh, there's so many different pops I get. I, I miss them quite often. I will say that at 100 subscribers, also, I'll be giving away King Ding Dong in a hard stack. Uh, subscribe. Follow me on my website, popcentric.co. It has all my social medias, Instagram. Periscope, Facebook, all of it. And you guys can get up-to-date news. Maybe you guys can uh, also be able to beat some of the flippers uh, by knowing when stuff's coming out. I'm not charging a membership uh, for the information. Um, and tell me how I can help you guys out, because that's what I want to do. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is my collection. I think it's the first time I've had it all piled together like this. Uh, and once again, thank you. If you, you caught the tail end of it, uh, I still appreciate you coming on. Uh, there's quite a few people. Uh, it'll be re-uploaded uh, here in a minute. You can rewind and kind of see everything. I will say if you're a DBZ fan, that's all at the beginning. Uh, we kind of moved to Marvel with anime mixed in there. Um, I don't even think I showed you any of my Disneys. I forgot those. The Pizza Planet truck. I got almost all the Mickeys, the color Mickeys. Uh, the glitter Mickey. Um, I have a lot. I have a lot. Those ones were in a different room. I totally forgot about it. But uh, thank you guys once again for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Once I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to give away. Please share the channel. Share the video if you liked it. Uh, and I'll, I'll love to do more. And check out some of my other videos. that kind of talk about stock levels and what to expect and how to, to get ahead of, of some of the, the, the people that come in and try to buy them all out real quick. Anyways, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video now. Uh, thank you very much again for watching and uh, you guys have a great